Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney's Spirit of Justice. Oh, man. <laughs> um, what in the heck happened in the last one? Man, we're, we're still kind of pushing that Owen could be a fourth person uh, within Wendo, but he's saying no. Um, but we're also now figuring out that it's possible that he could have been inebriated. And now we are here about to force everyone in this courtroom to eat alcoholic buns. That's right. I'm ready. Shove them all in my mouth. I am so ready for this. Give me the bun. Simon, you better have bought me one. Taka! There it is. Look, it looks delicious. Now the sweet buns have arrived. This court is back in session. I am so glad Taka's here. <laughs> he is so cute. Go on, Wendo. Eat up. Can they really do this? I guess they're going to force him to eat it. Have a delicious bun. Oh, I think he already know, because he'd be sweating. Mmm, uh, nice flavor. You can really taste the sake. It's good. Yeah. Are we all just about to get crunk in here? Okay, let's do it. Oh, that was delicious. Yes, a unique sweetness and the faint aroma of sake. Mayuta liked it too, did he? Oh, good. Yet I hardly think that anyone could pass out from eating something like this. What's the matter, Wendo? You're not afraid of a tiny manju, are you? Or are you scared of how many calories it has? Listen, we're all scared of that. Well, anyone after a certain age probably is. I am. Don't be ridiculous. A, a sweet little snack like this couldn't possibly... I mean, it could never... Less bleating, more eating, witness. Oh, shit, listen. <laughs> if Simon came up to me and said that's me, would it work? I know who I am. I know what I'm about. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Oh, he's sad because he knows. How is it? Is it delicious? Are you drunk? Oh, my. Oh, my God. He's like super lightweight. No way. See, I told you. It doesn't affect me to. Uh, we might be a lightweight. But come on! Nobody's that. <laughs> uh, seriously, nobody gets drunk off of whoa, 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 one little bun. Oh my god, all the personalities are drunk. This is incredible. That that's incredible. Hello, you alright? You okay? Okay. Hello? Who's that? Wait, that's different. Who are you? It, it looks like it worked. Oh, oh my, witness. Please tell the court your name and occupation. Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna have to like get the feel for whoever this is. Uh, uh what's, go what's happened? What's going on? Nobody knows. Oh, uh, my name's Owen. Oh shit! There they are! I'm five. What? Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Um, right, what do we do? <laughs> um, okay, this is. Okay. It's become a little more complicated. You're five years old? Am I in trouble? Please don't yell at me. Oh. So he's Wendo's fourth personality? I'd hardly think a child like him could have a motive to murder the victim. I'm almost inclined to agree. That's not good. Oh dear. Um, okay, I did not expect this. And even if he had a motive, could he have actually committed the murder? Well, to be fair, we've only talked to him for 2.5 seconds. Let me have a little more time here. Oh, that's a very good point. Owen does appear to be very timid and weak. Oh. It seems the defense was hoping this hidden personality would be the real killer. But now that he is standing here before us, it is clear that none of Wendo's personalities can be the killer. Is that really true, though? Oh, no, wait, are we... What do we do? Where can I even go from here? She shows, she shows. Owen, do you know something about what happened to your master? <laughs> Come 
on, buddy. Won't you tell Auntie Athena what happened? Uh, what a scary lady. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> sometimes true. I'm not scary. Look. Look at Auntie's big, big smile. Tell me about your master, please. Pretty please with sugar on top? Okay. Chisho was super nice. He always played with me. Just like... Just like a real grandpa. I love Chisho. <laughs> Athena, do you sense anything behind his words? Oh, I sense his sadness. Sadness so pure it's heartrending, but no discord. Prosecutor Sadmati is right. Owen isn't the killer. Wait, then what do we do? Who could it have been then? But then don't you find it odd? Find what odd? Let's review what we've learned so far. Winto rearranged the Karuta cards to pin the blame on Bucky. Well, that's because the original message implicated Owen. But Owen is only five years old and absolutely adores Master Tornado. Exactly. The other three personalities also have no motive for murder. If Owen isn't the true culprit, then the person who first laid out the cards... Probably wouldn't have been Master Tornado, so then... Who did it? I don't know, do we have any leads on that? I don't think we do. Defense? Could the appearance of Owen help you figure anything out? Yes, Your Honor. I now know who it was that first laid out the Karuta cards. Wait, we do? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I personally do not know it. Who is it? I mean, we only have one other person we can blame. Which I... oh. <laughs> oh, oh! But I thought it was the victim, right? No, Your Honor. I don't believe that it was. The one who first arranged the Karuta cards on the table was none other than... True Killer, Wet Noodle Number 3, Windows 50 Personality. I'm assuming there aren't any more after this, because this was, this was such an ordeal to get to. Um, okay, so are we saying that there is somebody else? That's what I would think at this point. I mean, these are amusing options, and I would like to know what's under them, but, uh... Oh... Okay, so we did all this for nothing. We are wrong. We are wrong. Okay? Hopefully this will bring out whatever we need. Because I'm not sure. I mean, let's be honest. Who's left? There's Geiru and that's it. I believe the person who laid out the cards is the very person who killed Typhoon Tornado. Is he going to fall for that? Probably not. How quickly you move on to a new target when your Owen theory proves false. It's true, I did do that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. Yeah, here we go with this music. You, you dark potato chip. I don't know what a potato chip is, but I know I'm definitely not one. And before you start with the sermons, why don't you hear me out? Bro, just hear me out, bro. <laughs> yes, let's hear the defense's reasonings. Please proceed, Miss Sykes. But if you are bluffing, I won't go easy on you. Man, I get it. I understand, Your Honor. Now then, please recall the original crime scene. Who did the Karuta card's name when the scene was discovered? Okay, when they were discovered, it was... It was Wet Noodle, Wet Number 4. Let's see. I believe they implicated the defendant, Bucky Wet. That's right. But then we found out that the message originally read Owen Forth. Hmm. Which implicated the young boy, Owen. Exactly. And the person who rearranged the cards was undoubtedly Wendo. Wendo may have kept silent, but we can be sure he already knew his master was dead. His tampering with the crime scene using the TV all but proves it. That's true. Okay. I confess, I tampered with the cards and the crime scene because I can read slowly. The reason Wendell ranged the Karuta cards and moved the TV was because he saw the Owen Fourth message and was convinced that Owen had committed the crime. Right on, Prosecutor Blackwell. It would seem that Owen and the other three personalities don't share the same memories. Okay, I did have a question about that last time. And a lot of you were so helpful in the comments to like explain what this all means. So I appreciate you greatly. But really, there is no fourth personality. It's just the three of us in here. Wendell feared that Owen had killed Master Tornado, so he tried to hide Owen from us. 
Right, because he didn't know if it was actually true. Oh. It's okay. No one's gonna come after you. But it turns out Owen is but a five-year-old child incapable of hurting a fly. Let alone his beloved master. So naturally, the culprit must be somebody else. And the somebody else, the true killer, tried to pin the crime on Owen. Okay. I mean, I guess he was so convincing that we're just taking it as fact. Not that I want to be mean or anything, but are we sure that this personality isn't just pretending to be a five-year-old kid? I don't know how it works, but I, I guess we're going with the fact that no, it could not have possibly been him at this time. I see. That does make sense. What's wrong? What is the problem? You don't like it. This is not a conjecture. Composed of half-truths and fantasy. Man, that's all I deal in. All right, you gotta sit down and get used to it. Who then do you maintain murdered the victim? There's only one other person we've even talked to. I believe that Owen might know something about that. I refuse to allow such impromptu testimony and from a five-year-old, no less. Is that because you're actually moral or because you don't want me going down there, which may be both? Such a young child is incapable of producing anything coherent. Sir, in this game, I have talked to a parrot. We'll be fine. Objection. We'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> but your desperation is disgraceful. You should realize when it is time to let go and I saw it. Are you gonna say something? Oh no. I saw she's still getting Owen! You do know something, don't you? Y yeah. Oh my, is this true? If so, we must have Owen testify immediately. Don't you agree, Prosecutor Sadmati? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get what you wanted, oh no! It's alright, Owen, go ahead and tell us what you know. Alright, how's this gonna- poor thing! We have to be nice to him, he's just small! I saw it, okay. She's always standing with a knife in his hand. Blood was dripping onto Shiso's face, getting it all red. I couldn't move at all. I was so scared. I passed out. Oh. Oh no. This is eyewitness testimony from the moment of the murder. Owen, oh, can you tell us anything else about what you saw? I... I was so scared. <laughs> uh, so, so scared. Owen. His emotions are spiraling out of control. Something must have really frightened him. You think? Uh, is he alright? His emotions are running wild because he's trying to recall something frightening to him. I recommend a therapy session right away. Okay, so we are gonna do some more Mood Matrix. Okie dokie. I see, yes. Please whatever, do whatever you can to help the poor boy. Will do, Your Honor. I'd better find the cause of these out-of-control emotions pronto. All right, are we gonna be able to do it? Let's try it. Come on, Widget, it is time. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Cause I'm definitely assuming that none of this is not true at this point, you know? I'm assuming it's all truth. Shiso is standing with a knife in his hand. Right, that does look like a noodle cutting knife. Okay, and the sadness, nothing else. Blood was dripping onto Shiso's face, getting it all red. Ugh! That looks terrifying! I don't like that while he's standing up! Ew! Sadness again. Couldn't move at all. Okay. Sadness. I was scared. I passed out. So this is like sadness and probably being scared at the same time, right? Okay, what do we do with that, though? Poor kid, he's absolutely terrified of something. Whatever it is, it might be the root cause of his out of control emotions. Oh, I'd better take another careful look at the images. Yeah, but what? What, are, what would we want to point out here, though? Is something false? Or are we just trying to point out... Hmm. What are we trying to highlight here? What he's afraid of? Is that what we're trying to do? Okay, with a knife in his hand. But that doesn't look like a knife you're gonna stab somebody with. I'm gonna go, I mean, if we're trying to point out what is the scariest thing, this, I don't even I don't like this. 
Blood was dripping onto his face, getting it all red. While he's standing up, that's so odd. You know what, I'm gonna... What happens if I probe that? What is the root cause of this turmoil? The blood, for sure. No, no child wants to see that. I, I don't even want to see it. Yeah, blood was dripping down Shiso's face. Blood? I don't remember seeing any blood in the crime scene photos. Oh wait, is he talking about like the red soup that was from the, the noodles? Is that what, cause in the crime scene photo, doesn't it look like that? He's, yeah, cause look, his face is in the bowl. Maybe that's what it is, but let's just see. Besides, if the victim was standing upright, how could blood drip down onto his face? As I expected, all we managed to obtain from this child is a tale he dreamt up. Man, don't say that. Children are usually, well, I don't know, they're kind of honest when they need to be, don't, aren't they? I don't know. Children lie, but still, I don't think that's this. That, like, not at all. I guess it's a little weird for blood to trip onto the victim's face if he was standing up. Unless it dripped down from the ceiling or something. Oh, sorry, I thought that, I thought that was Simon. Unless it dripped down from the ceiling or something. What do you think, Simon? What do you think? I don't know. Owen's one confused and upset kid right now who knows how accurate his memory is. That's true. Maybe it's time for that thing instead. Huh? What thing? That thing that you and your cohorts do. What do you call it? Rotate your thinking about? Oh, turn it around! <laughs> you mean turn your thinking around? That's a phoenix thing. Yeah, whatever. It's the same thing either way. No, it isn't. Who's ever heard of rotating your thinking? Yeah, that just sounds gross. <laughs> well, maybe not. I won't, you know, you want to rotate with me a little, Simon? How about it? I mean, rotate is... Hey, wait a minute. What? You know what, Simon? In this case, I think rotate might just work perfectly after all. Wait, what are we talking about again? Athena, did you just come up with something? Come again? I plan on it. All I have to do is rotate things by 90 degrees. What? When he saw his master, Owen must have been... When he saw his master, Owen must have been... Wait, so if we're... Okay, think about it. If he's standing up, we saw the guy standing up and there was blood on his face. One second, we gotta look at this again. Standing up and saw blood on his face. I'm trying to think of what that means. Um. Rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, I'm bad at like degrees in math. Does that mean he was on the floor or not above him? We know that. Not to, to the left or right wouldn't make a difference, would it? I'm trying to think. Owen must have been lying on the floor, doing a handstand, press flying as well. No, out of these, lying on the floor is the only one that made. Oh, if he's on the floor. Yes, and you know what? You know what I noticed too? Well, I wish I could see it again, but I can't. In the mood matrix, was the blood dripping down his face? Or was it just kind of splattered all over, like it could be dripping forward? That's what I didn't pick up. I didn't notice if it was or not, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna be lying on the floor, because that's the only one that makes sense. Owen must have been lying on the floor when he witnessed his master's murder. What? Wait, I'm trying to picture it now. That's the conclusion I arrived at when I rotated my thinking by 90 degrees. Which means that all of the visuals in my matrix were off by 90 degrees. Okay, we can fix that though, can't we? And look at it. And? This means that Master Tornado was also lying on the floor, which solves another mystery. And which mystery is that? The mystery of how blood could have been dripping onto the victim's face. It becomes much easier to imagine how that could have happened if he was laying down. Wait, laying down where though? That's the weird thing. I'm still trying to picture it and I kind of can't. Like someone bleeding onto Master Tornado from a somewhere above him. Wait, like someone's on top of him? I, I remember now somebody was sitting on top of She's show. Really? Oh, kid. Oh, no. Okay. Only 70% though. So 
Trying to recall his master's bloody killer is what spooked Owen originally. The blood that stained the victim's face red came from the person sitting on top of him. The victim was holding a knife, so he likely nicked his attacker as he was fighting back. Oh, I see. This means his assailant was injured on their face somewhere. Like the forehead, perhaps? Do we know anybody like that? I don't think so. Assuming the victim and his attacker were face to face, then yes. I see. So that is what happened. You're not gonna contest it? But if I recall correctly, the accused had a fresh bandage on his forehead. Does he not? Uh-oh. No, he do. He do, I forgot. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a headband. Oh, that thing, sorry. <laughs> yes, that is there. Oh no. That injury of Mr. Wetz is conclusive evidence that he committed this murder. Oh no, why? That is true, it's there though, it is there. Oh no. It seems you have dug yourself into a pit you cannot crawl out of. No! Even if I figured out the reason for Owen's out of control emotions, all I did was raise further suspicion against my own client. Well, that's happened a lot <laughs> with these things, hasn't it? What do I do now? What's the matter? You aren't thinking of throwing in the towel, are you? But he looks so bad for Bucky. I mean, he had both motive and opportunity. Plus, he has that injury on his forehead. Your Honor, I sense that the defense is finally ready to let it go and move on. Well, Miss Sykes? I understand that you don't want to give up on your client, but I won't allow you to prolong this trial without a good reason. Oh no, what do we do? Well, that lawyer did her best, but all the signs point to the defendant's guilt. Maybe it's time she gave up. She tried everything she could. Oh, I really, really don't want to back down, but- Silence. Come on, Simon, save her. I knew it. I knew he would. He doesn't give up ever. Athena, are you having doubts about Bucky's innocence? Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just, well, it's not like we know him or anything. You know, it's hard. Do you remember what you said to Bucky early this morning? All right, when he was upset. You mean you believe me, Mim? Of course, no matter what, I'll believe in you to the very end. We did say that. We did say that. Athena, we can't back down on that. Were those just empty words? Of course not. It's just that uh, all the cards are stacked against us. Are you still stuck on that line of thinking? Oh shit! Simon! Get in my face, boy! Motive, opportunity, and an injury to his forehead? Is that all it takes to make you stop believing in your client? Get her, girl! Tell me again, who are you to Bucky? Uh, I'm, I'm his Miss Chickadee lawyer. And do your duty and believe in him until the very end. Yo, Simon's angry, but I love it. I, I will. Simon's absolutely right. I'm Bucky's lawyer and he's depending on me. Defense team, please, no fighting in my courtroom. He pushed me, your honor, he touched me. The defense is ready to resume, your honor. Prosecutor Blackwell was just giving me a pep talk, that's all. You know with his fists. No, it's, he just he just shook her a little bit. It's totally fine. Thank you, Prosecutor. I didn't do it for your sake. Right, right. You did it for your noodles. I get it. You love your noodles, boy. You can you can keep that shit on all you want. I know the truth. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The defense would like to now continue with Owen's therapy session. Uh, Owen, would you be alright with that? Okay. Um, so somebody was sitting up top of Shisho bleeding from their head and smooshing something into Shisho's face. That's funny. What is it? I still hear discord in Owen's voice, but I don't sense any inconsistencies between his statements and his emotions. And there don't seem to be any contradictions in his testimony itself either. Well, then what could it be? Has that ever happened before? Oh, so that's it, huh? Did you figure something out? Your ability to sense emotions is making you focus too much on his feelings, Athena. But there's actually something he's being very vague about on his testimony. 
you can clarify what he's feeling uncertain about with some evidence. Oh, we have to, yeah, maybe we have to, like, show him some things. Maybe to help him explain it. We should be able to move forward from there. Okay. That makes sense. I'll give it a try. But what? What do we give him? I'll just update the mood matrix with the new information and then we'll be ready to go. So I just need to present some evidence on what Owen is being vague about. What is he being vague about? Uh... Well, let's see what the updated info says. Okay, that still looks weird. <laughs> because he looks like he has rigor mortis. Okay. She shall had blood on his face and a knife in his hand. Right, and we don't have any, um, we don't have any moods at the moment. We're just looking at the images and the statements. He was on the floor and somebody was smushing something into his face. Smushing something? Is this what we're being vague about? It's the Danganronpa guy. He's killed another person. But, like, what? Hang on a second. Uh... Is it the bowl? His face is in the bowl. Can you kill somebody with a bowl to the face? Hang on to one second. Because... <sighs> well, look at this now, though, too. We know already that he was killed by suffocation, but not drowning. Someone smothered him with something. Is that the thing we're trying to... What if we did that? But hang on. Is this going to work, though? Because... I want to know what it is. Is that what we're, that's what we're trying to figure out, right? We either have to show this or this. <sighs> Hang on. Before I do that, that's the only thing that changed, right? It has to be because I think the other... Oh, no. This updated, too. The other one was I was so scared. Oh, they just turned him on his side. <laughs> that I passed out. Okay. Um, but that did update. This has got to be the thing because this is the only thing that's new that we have questions about. Maybe if we show him... Maybe if we show him that, well... No, but it says we have to show him, like, evidence, but just telling him that he was suffocated, is that gonna help? This is a picture, at least. It's one of these two. Objection. I'm gonna go with the picture, because he's a kid, right? You gotta show him a photo. Oh god, we're gonna show him a photo of a dead body. Is that the best idea we ever had? Let's put a name to the thing Owen's uncertain of, shall we? By identifying the murder weapon that was used to suffocate the victim. Fortunately for us, I spy the murder weapon right here in this crime scene photo. Is it actually the bowl? <laughs> Wait. Can you kill someone with a bowl? <laughs> Has it happened before? Are you looking it up? In your encyclopedia? Unfortunately for you, I spy nothing of the sort. Do you not? And the police did not spy anything of the sort during their investigation either. They didn't? So it's not in the crime scene photo. Pray tell, where's this murder weapon you see? You don't see it because it no longer looks the way it did when it was used as a weapon. Huh? What could that be? Huh? This is what the killer pressed into Master Tornado's face. What? What's even here? There's a bowl. But how does a bowl not look like a bowl? There's a cup. The bun. Packaging the cards. Whatever this, I'm not even sure what this thing is. We might have talked about this briefly, but I don't know what this is. I can't see. Um, there's a bowl, there's some noodles there. There's flour all over the floor, there's the sake. But what changes shape? I don't understand. Huh? Could the... Oh, wait a minute. Could he have, like, choked on a bun or something? No, because that... That would say there's nothing in his lungs, though. So that's not it. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 They don't mean this, do they? They don't mean this. If you think of it as a riddle, the only thing that changes shape in this picture... And he said smo- Noodles? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't we have something? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. 
And we have something that said... I don't know if we do. Wasn't it something that said that he delivered, like, noodles to him at some point? Or he delivered the stuff to make the noodles with, which means that he wanted to make them. But noodles start out as a big-ass, thick piece of dough. <gasps> and, like, if you've ever seen how those noodles are made, which I have done, it's really thick. Like, it's, it's not like bread. It's like a big-ass weighted blanket of dough that could absolutely suffocate you. That's not it, though. That's really vague. How would anyone have figured that out? The only reason I thought of it, too, is because I thought of choking on the bun. Which, I don't think that's it. Are you serious? That's so... That's difficult, though. That's such a small thing. Take that! If it's that, I swear. The mystery person that Owen saw pressed the soba into the victim's face, thereby suffocating him. Yeah, but noodles don't suffocate a person. Is that what... Wait a minute. Did, am I wrong? I grow weary of your tasteless jokes. Uh-oh. How could anyone commit murder with soft, delicate soba? The noodles would instantly fall apart if they were pressed into someone's face. That is true. But what about if it was before that? Yes, I agree. Well, I disagree. There is a way the soba could have been used to suffocate the victim. The only reason I could have thought of that is because they said it changed shape. Otherwise, I never would have picked up on that. Never. What? You will explain your theory at once, Miss Sykes. To kill Master Tornado, the culprit must have smothered him with... Oh my god. It's right here. I've seen, like, videos of, of, of Japanese chefs making these things. Udon and soba and everything. And they, like, step on the dough. That's how thick it is. Like, obviously with plastic bags. But, like, they, they step on it to, like, knead it and it's thick. The culprit must have used the soba before it was cut into noodles. This seems so far-fetched. In other words, the murder weapon was raw soba dough. How could it be possible? What? It, even saying it sounds a little crazy though, doesn't it? Like seriously. Even saying it sounds a little bit a little bit nutty. <laughs> you, you it's got to be said. Like you you got to think about it that way. Order, order in the court. Yes, soba dough could definitely be used to suffocate someone, couldn't it? What do you think, Nayuta? Are you done with me? He's done with me. <laughs> Are you all right, Prosecutor Sanmari? I was just letting the soul of the victim know that the accused will finally face justice thanks to the foolish lawyer before me. Why? What do you have? What's going on? Huh? What are you talking about? Allow me to summarize your statements. As the accused was killing the victim, he was slashed in the face by the victim's knife. This doesn't look good, does it? The weapon he used to suffocate the victim was the dough in the dressing room. He then disposed of the murder weapon by cutting the soba dough into noodles. Oh, oh. oh no, even Simon! Why, you smarmy! Uh-oh, 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 even Simon's caught off guard. This is not good. Afterwards, the accused put the victim's face into the bowl of soba noodles and broth to wash off the blood that had dripped onto the victim's face from his own. And there you have it, the true sequence of events behind this foul affair. Did we just hand it to him? Wait, wait a minute! I never once said that Mr. Wet was the culprit! Who but the accused? knows how to cut dough into noodles, Defense. Uh, do we know anybody else that knows? Oh, uh, that's a very good point, Prosecutor Sodmani. I mean, someone could figure it out. Even I could probably figure it out if I wanted to. I heard that cutting soba dough into uniform noodles requires considerable training. Then what about the dying message? How do you explain that? The defense wouldn't have known about Wendo's Owen personality. Or the defendant, sorry. Perhaps the victim was simply playing with the cards and they hold no other meaning. No, that's way too coincidental. Perhaps he spelled out Owen's name in jest sometime before his murder. That's true. From Owen's testimony, it's clear that Master Tornado cared for the boy. Hmm. It appears we've arrived at a compelling conclusion. Wait, no, we're not done. Taken together, all of these points paint a convincing picture of the defendant's guilt. Uh-oh. Owen, is there anything else you can tell us? 
It doesn't matter how small of a detail anything will do. You're scaring me. Oh, I'm sorry. Auntie Athena didn't mean to raise her voice. I have to be gentler with him. I can't forget he's only five years old. No need to be scared, okay, sweetie? Just tell us anything you can remember. Well... And when I woke up, the person who killed Shisho was standing over me. Bleeding from their head. Owen, you saw the killer's face? Oops, I did it again. So, who was it? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know who it was. Picking up some noise. That means there's still something to uncover in Owen's testimony. What? I, I, what do you mean? I, I'm busy. I don't know what Owen saw, but suffice it to say we are analyzing the dreams of a child. You've wasted enough of our time, Defense. Let it go and move on. No, we're not gonna let it go. No, there's still discord in Owen's heart that needs to be addressed. Therefore, I can't give in here. But I am going to stop the video here, I think. I don't like to do that in the middle of a mood matrix. However, I have a feeling we still have much to do. We have to figure it out. So we will figure it out in the next one. That's right. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope that you're enjoying this as much as I am. Thank you so much, guys, for leaving your comments and leaving the likes on the video. It helps so, so much. I really appreciate all of you. I'm really glad for your comments and all of the things that I've learned from you guys. It's been amazing. Let's find out just who he saw in the next one. I'll see you guys soon. Toodaloo!